So the Windows 11 25H2 ISO file is finally here after two weeks of delay. Just in case, if you don't know, the Windows 11 25H2 is actually already available in the release preview channel. It was released almost two weeks ago, but Microsoft didn't release the ISO file. They promised to release it after a week, but they delayed it and now we have the ISO file available. So to download the ISO file, you can go to this website. This is the Windows Insider Preview Downloads website. You have to log in with the Microsoft account to access the ISO files. So to download the Windows 11 25H2 ISO file, the release preview one, you have to scroll down a little bit. And when you reach the select edition option, just click on it and here select this Windows 11 Insider Preview Release Preview Channel Build 26200. Okay, this is the 25H2 ISO file. You select that, click on confirm and choose the language and confirm. And here you'll see the download link, 64 bit download. Just click on it to download it. And I have already downloaded it. And uh, this thing is actually massive. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, for some reason, this thing is like more than seven gigabytes. If you compare this with the 24H2, that is only 5.4 gigabyte. So the 25H2 is almost 1.5 gigabytes bigger than the 24H2. Now, I think most of you guys know this, the Windows 11 25H2 update is actually smaller if you're already on 24H2. And there aren't much new features it's basically a 24H2. There is just version going up. That's it. Uh, in simple words, the 25H2 is based on 24H2. But still, somehow, uh, the ISO file is just massive. I guess there is a lot more bloat now with the 25H2. The previous version of Windows 11 23H2, that was around 6.1 or 2 gigabytes. Okay, it was still bigger. But the 24H2 is only five and a half gigabyte because they deprecated a lot of the old stuff from the windows. Maybe that could be the reason it's smaller than the previous version and the new version. So maybe the final release will be more compressed. Maybe this thing is not compressed well, the previous of 25H2. Now, I've also set up the uh, virtual machine here so let's fire this up and let's see what we get in this. I am hoping for a new start menu, which I'll show you if just in case it doesn't give me the new start menu. So let's go through the installation and let's see if there is anything new in the installation page. So far it looks the same. And I also read some news online about the Windows 11 25H2. Uh, performance benchmark. They did the comparison between 24H2 and 25H2 and they found zero differences. So there isn't a performance improvement in 25H2. Compared to coming from 23H2 to 24H2, there was a huge performance improvement. I'm having these issues all the time when I'm trying to log in with the Microsoft account. Man, don't force me to use the local account. Let's try this one more time. And this is not a new thing. I've encountered this with 24H2 too, just recently, even though I'm connected to the internet. I'm gonna actually forcefully use the local account because I have no other choice. I can't afford to just restart and go through the check for update thingy again. It's frustrating. Hopefully this works. Yeah, it worked. Okay. <laughs> you know, whenever I you know, install Windows on my computer, I actually use local account first. I do use Microsoft account, but first I use the local account because if I use the Microsoft account from the start, it messes up with the PC in many ways. It will automatically encrypt your drives and it will automatically back up your folders, files to the OneDrive. So I don't want that to happen. And there are many other things. So once I clean up my PC and everything, then I sign in with the Microsoft account. So now let's go with the local account on this because it was not my fault. Okay, Microsoft forced me to use the local account. 
because even though I was connected to the internet, it was saying, oops, lost the internet. And when you use local account, you skip a lot of the privacy related things. Plus uh, Xbox things. There are so many things, Microsoft bundles. So you, you skip all of those. So there are many reasons why you should still use the local account, at least during installation. Once you install it using local account, optimize, deep load, and then use the Microsoft account. So let's install the drivers and let's make sure that this is the Windows 11 25H2. Yeah, it's the 25H2, but I'm already disappointed actually. <laughs> I already noticed that there is no new start menu. In Windows 11 25H2, there are not going to be many features. Even if there are some, they are going to be mostly hidden or not so useful. And the new M365 Copilot is here. What happened to the default Copilot? It should be just the Copilot, right? But now this is 365 Copilot. So now, let me show you guys the 25H2 dev version. And here it is yeah this is what i was expecting i guess it's not going to happen so you can see all the apps are organized uh, in different category you can also make it grid list and i prefer the category one you'll find all of your apps in one place i like this new start menu and it's a little bit bigger too here let me show you guys this is actually a windows 11 25h2 but the dev channel i guess the new start menu is planned for the next version of windows 11 maybe 26 h2 or something yeah or h3 i think they're going for one major release per year so 26 h2 or maybe the windows 12 who knows yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye